On Friday, we got into the 50s. On Saturday, just the 30s. And it looks like that cold spell is going to continue as we go through the weekend. A system is going to try to work in here as we go through Saturday night and into Sunday morning. A couple of scattered flurries are possible, but mainly just cloudy skies as we go into Sunday morning. Then we'll have a little bit of clearing through the afternoon, but then here's our next system. You can see that stretching from North Platte northward into about Yankton on Sunday evening at about 7 o'clock. The initial batch of rain associated with that then turns into snow through western Iowa. And it looks like we will have the heaviest amounts through eastern portions of Siouxland communities like Storm Lake as well as Cherokee. Could see a fair amount of snow, measurable snow, with about 3 inches of total snow accumulation. We'll clear things out as we go into our Monday with high pressure starting to work into the area, but our temperatures remain on the cooler side. Here's a look at how much snow we can expect beginning the clock at 6 p.m. on Sunday night, which is when we anticipate that snow to mainly begin. You'll see that starting to stretch across the area, getting to about an inch and a half of snow in Sioux City. Lesser amounts through northeast Nebraska with just over an inch in Norfolk and Wayne. About an inch of snow in Yankton, close to two inches in Sioux Falls. The greatest amounts, again, are going to be in northwest Iowa with about three inches in Orange City, Cherokee, and Storm Lake. About two and a half inches expected in Spencer. There's still some variability in the models on this. Some are favoring more of a rain system compared to this snow, but if we do get snow, this looks to be about the maximum, anywhere from one to three inches. Here's our forecast for tonight, 22 degrees, increasing clouds, and definitely on the cooler side for this time of year. Those lows typically in March right around 30 degrees. 38 for tomorrow, that rain-snow mix moves in late in the afternoon and evening and lasts into Monday morning. Those winds will be a little bit gusty too, gusting up to 30 miles per hour with that mix. Here's a look at our 10-day forecast then. Windy conditions on Monday, very windy in fact. We could have some gusts over 40 miles per hour, then 37 on Tuesday. Getting back into the 40s by the end of the week with 42 and mostly sunny skies on Thursday, 44 on Friday with the clouds building in. Another slight chance of seeing some showers pop up on Saturday with that high of 45. And then the warm weather finally returns as we go into the later portions of our forecast there. Monday, 47, and next Tuesday, 55 with mostly sunny skies.